Hello everyone. In this set of questions numbered 21 to 30, we shall test your general knowledge about the common, local, and scientific names of some economically important aquatic invertebrates. Question number 21. This species is commonly called shovel-nosed lobster. Locally, this is called pitik pitik or korapa. A. Panoleros versicolor. B. Panoleros ornatus. C. Ibacos ciliatus. And D. Panoleros longipes longipes. Can you now guess the answer? If not, here are the photos. A. Panoleros versicolor. B. Panoleros ornatus. C. Ibacos ciliatus. And D. Panoleros longipes longipes. Can you now guess the species? If not, Here's another hint. The carapace of this species is rounded in dorsal view. If your answer is C or Ibacos ciliatus, you're correct. Ibacos ciliatus is commonly called shovel-nosed lobster and locally called pitik-pitik or korapa. Number 22. The scientific name of Noah's clam is A. Hippopus hippopus B. Tridacna maxima, C. Tridacna noe, and D. Tridacna derasa. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Hippopus hippopus, B. Tridacna maxima, C. Tridacna noe, and D. Tridacna derasa. Can you now identify the species? If not, Here's another hint. This species has a teardrop pattern on the mantle. If your answer is C or Tridacna noe, you are correct. Tridacna noe is also called Noah's clam. 23. This grapseed crab is commonly called shore crab. A. Varuna literata. B. Cardisoma carnifex, C. Oxypodi cordimana, and D. Charybdis natator. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Varuna literata, B. Cardisoma carnifex, C. Oxypodi cordimana, and D. Charybdis natator. Can you now identify the species? If not, here's another hint. This species is locally called Talanka in Tagalog and Kalampay in the Visayas region. If your answer is A or Varuna literata, you're correct. Varuna literata is commonly called shore crab. Number 24. This species is commonly called giant tiger prone or jumbo tiger prone. Locally, this is called Sugpo, Lokon, or Pansat. A. Peneus merguensis. B. Peneus indicos. C. Peneus monodon. And D. Peneus semisulcatus. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Peneus merguensis. B. Peneus indicos. C. Peneus monodon. And D. Peneus semisulcatus. Can you now identify the species? If not, here's another hint. This is the largest species among pinnate shrimps and prawns in Southeast Asian waters. If your answer is C or Peneus monodon, you're correct. Peneus monodon is commonly called giant tiger prawn or jumbo tiger prawn. 25. This species of giant clam is commonly called fluted giant clam or scaly clam. A. Hippopus porcellanus B. Tridacna maxima C. Tridacna squamosa and D. Tridacna derasa Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Hippopus porcellanus B. Tridacna maxima C. 
Tridacna squamosa, and D. Tridacna derasa. Can you now identify the species? If not, here's another hint. The shell of this species is equipped with equally spaced large scutes or scales. If your answer is C or Tridacna squamosa, you're correct. Tridacna squamosa is commonly called fluted giant clump or scaly clump. Number 26. This species is commonly called donkey's ear abalone. Locally, this is called capinan or sobra sobra. A. Haliutis levigata. B. Haliutis varia. C. Haliutis rufescens. And D. Haliutis asinina. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Haliutis levigata. B. Haliutis varia. C. Haliutis rufescens. And D. Haliutis asinina. Can you now identify the species? If not, here's another hint. This species has a very elongate shell. If your answer is D or Haliotis asinina, you're correct. Haliotis asinina is commonly called donkey's ear abalone and locally called capinan or sobra sobra. Number 27. This species is commonly called commercial top or top shell. Locally, this is called samong. A. Tectus pyramis. B. Tectus fenestratus. C. Tectus maculatus. And D. Rochea nilotica. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Tectus pyramis. B. Tectus fenestratus. C. Tectus maculatus. And D. Rochea nilotica. Can you now identify the species? If not, here's another hint. The shell of this species is longitudinally striped with crimson, violet, or reddish brown. If your answer is D or Rochea nilotica, you're correct. Rochea nilotica is commonly called commercial top or top shell. Number 28. This species of sea cucumber is commonly called sunfish. Locally, this is called putian, cortido, or kagisan. A. Buhadja marmorata. B. Holothoria foscogilva. C. Holothoria scabra. And D. Holothoria atra. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Buhadja marmorata. B. Holothoria foscogilva. C. Holothoria scabra. And D. Holothoria atra. Can you now identify the species? If not, here's another hint. This species has a dark grayish body. If your answer is C or Holothoria scabra, you're correct. Holothoria scabra is commonly called sandfish and locally called putian, cortido, or kagisan. Number 29. This sea cucumber species is commonly called white Titfish. Locally, this is called susuan. A. Holothoria foscogilva. B. Holothoria foscocineria. C. Holothoria flabumaculata. And D. Holothoria idolis. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Holothoria foscogilva. B. Holothoria foscocineria. C. Holothoria flabumaculata. And D. Holothoria idolis. Can you now identify the species? If not, here's another hint. The color of this species is whitish with black patches on dorsal portion. This species has large lateral protrusions called teats. If your answer is A or Holothoria foscogilva, you're correct. Holothoria foscogilva is also called white titfish and locally called susuan. Number 30 or the last number. This species of sea cucumber is called black spotted sea cucumber. Locally, this is called trompa, p 
Pinya, Mani Mani or Bulaklak. A. Buhadsha Vicences. B. Personothoria Grafi. C. Buhadsha Marmorata. And D. Buhadsha Argos. Can you guess the answer? If not, here are the pictures. A. Buhadsha Vicences. B. Personothoria Grafi. C. Buhadsha Marmorata. And D. Buhadsha Argos. Can you now identify the species? If not, here's another hint. The color is cream to tan with numerous large brown patches with fine dark speckling. The black tentacles around the mouth region have distinct white edges. If your answer is B or Personothoria grafi, you're correct. Personothoria grafi is commonly called black spotted sea cucumber. That's all for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please write it down on the comment section below. If you like the contents, please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this to your networks. See you soon!